uppercut, uppercut, sonic boom! Well, hello there, humans of these earthlings. Here you are, where if you are, whatever you're doing, if you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about shotguns. I'm going to tell you why you probably should get your ass into gear and start occasionally picking up shotguns. Particularly, particularly on this map, Livic. Uh, the XM1014, which I've done a video on and not enough people are adopting. This is a gorgeous shotgun that is everything the pumpy wishes it was. That is everything the S12K wishes it was. It's just really, really easy to control and produces an enormous boom. The reason I want to talk about this is this, it goes to the heart of so many different topics. Uh, loadout diversity, uh, urban gunfighting, you know, minimizing issues with desync. And shotguns just, when you're up close and personal, like, they are amazing. They are bad when you miss. Like, if you watch this next clip here, you're going to see me go all gung-ho. And this is the old over-under. And I should point out that the over-under is great, but this is really the the fine scalpel of, I don't know what I was thinking there, like what I was going to do, yeah. I was really going to win that one with a K98 uh, hip shot. Yeah, go for it, Bushka. <laughs> Sometimes I have far too much faith in my own ability. Um, but I'm really talking more about the DBS and the XM1014. These uh, shotguns that have all the positives of an S12K, but then go beyond that. The XM1014 is just simply super easy to use. Uh, the pumpy is kind of like you've got a hit, but then there's a long reload between shells. So you can see big pump before you get another shot at the dice. Uh, another roll of the dice. The XM, this one here, no problems. Just, just keep pressing the button. The faster you press the button, the more fun you're going to have, basically. And you can see this bike. Oh, hello. Like, I love shotguns. I wanted to start playing with diverse loadouts. Now, that is another video I'm doing, and that is actually... I, I needed about 10 minutes worth of footage on the diverse loadout stuff, and I've got 40 minutes worth of footage. Um, that's the over-under. When the over-under works, it works in big, big units. Um, the problem with Erangel, for me, is that there's just not enough DBSs. That's a real dude out there. He was, uh, he just killed a bot. And then I went out to loot and someone else turned up. This bloke. And then we went dancing around. I actually use this clip in the sneaky stuff. Now the whole joy with shotguns and why it's great versus desync is because if you just hit once, that's all you've got to do. Like if you just hit one good mishmash into the chest, you're done. Um, it, it just, it cures so many problems. That guy, a, a Graza, you know, like... Good luck with your Graza. Um, I think that was the one with the Graza. Oh, I don't know. This guy could be the one with the Graza. I don't know. One of the better Graza. I promise, mum. Don't ask me one on uh, on maths. I'm, I'm even worse than that. This is the DBS. This is just ridiculous. It's it's a pumpy, but it fires two instantly, uh, like an over under, and it does that seven times. <laughs> it's a dunk 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 dunk. Like just really ridiculous. Um, when you miss, it's bad, but then you bring another bloke with a shotgun. There is a real sense amongst the player base that the M416 and the DP28, those kind of guns, are the way forward. And this works on that loadout. Like, that guy had a P90. Um, this works on that loadout. Like, if, if people are running those kind of loadouts all the time, then they don't expect gunfights to be over this quickly like you hit once and it's the end of the gunfight like there's that doesn't happen with the m416 uh it happens with the uzi a little bit but nothing nothing does it like this gun this gun is just ridiculous two rounds of pelleted love every time I think this clip has been used on Instagram. I'm not sure if it's been used in a video. This is from a live stream. We thought these guys were hacking. And I don't mind pushing kinds like people who might be using performance enhancing uh, programs when I've got a DBS. Because they can hit me with their M416 in the head. I'll hit them with a DBS. And that'll be the end of it. There's no way around that. It's a an excellent weapon for that. 
So I would strongly urge you to consider running a shotgun on occasion as a secondary. The patch, the recent patch, not 1.1, the one before that, uh, patch 1.0. Oh. <laughs> oh, you make myself laugh sometimes. Um, I miss here, which is bad. Uh, but again, look, I've got no health. That's cool. You got a Scar L? That's fine. I've got no health. I only have to hit you once. If I hit you once, that's it. I win. Uh, when you miss, like sweaty, sweaty grub. I knocked the hell out of that chair, though. I didn't know that chair is never going to talk back. <laughs> that chair. That chair ain't never going to talk back. Um, oh, what was I talking about? How nice does this weapon look, too? And I don't know why it always takes me so long to kill them. Uh, yeah, hello. Just use these guns. And they are great for making you a better player. You work on your sensitivity settings. You get your sensitivity right. And then, oh, hello, he's dropped down and just... Oh! Yeah, boom, boom. And you are a better player for it. You are a much better player for it. It is not so easy to run around the map... Uh, and do well with these guns. I understand that. You have to start using your skills. You have to work so that every engagement is up close and personal. Um, and that's difficult. And it, and it can be hard sometimes to make that work. But then nothing nothing says I love you like one of these things at close range. It's just absolutely marvelous. So I, I would love to know the results. If you try it, let me know in the comments below how you've been going with shotguns. If you've been trying them, if you feel like they're more accurate now than they've ever been, particularly the X Wim 1014, this is great. We just ran that bloke over, and then his mate was pushing out the door to him, and he said the guy just fell out the door. Just the door opened, and he just fell. <laughs> it was like, oh, hello. Um, let me know what you think about the accuracy side of things. I think they've gotten more accurate. I think the S12K is still horrific recoil wise. Um, I used to love running the S12K, but running the DBS and this thing now. It just makes you realize that the S12K really is the ugly duckling. Uh, the Pumpy, the S, the, the Over Under, the S686, they're all okay. But the XM1014 and the DBS are absolutely glorious. Getting up close and personal can be a problem. But once you get them close, they will make up for a whole lot of problems. I'm Bushka. Thank you so much for watching. Look after yourself. Stay safe on the battlefield. And if you could share the videos and like the videos and maybe, just maybe subscribe to the channel, that'd be pretty cool. Come and join me in Discord as well. There's a link in the description below. Until next time, bye for now.